know, you know, I just wanted to come out and compete and uh, put the best numbers, and I think that's what I did today. What did you want to show that wasn't um, that you, that different than the combine? Was there anything else you wanted to show today? Um, you know, just that I'm versatile. Um, you know, I run good routes, and um, ultimately, I think as a receiver, that's that's all you need to do. It doesn't matter your forty time, um, your shuttle time at all, how many how many reps you throw, as long as you're able to create separation and get open um, and score touchdowns. Uh, I think that's. What, you need to do. what did you? What have you heard from NFL teams between the combine and, and today? Uh, same things that I've been hearing, you know, probably since January. Is that um, you know, speed was obviously the biggest question. Um, what I weigh in at and, and how how crisp my routes were. What are you at now in terms of height, weight, and what you? Uh, I think I was six four oh six. Um, weight was two twenty seven. Uh, yeah, and then like my hand was like nine. Nine and something. It was it was big. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. all that where you want it to be right now? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I, I could I could add weight. Um, I could lose some weight. Um, I'm really just kind of just really chilling. Um, as far as my uh, my weight goes. But so whatever teams want to see me as, you know, it'll be easy to put on a, or drop a few pounds. When you look back at the whole process from Senior Bowl, Combine, Pro Day. Do you feel like it's all kind of been a success for you? Oh yeah. Um, you know, I really enjoy this process. Um, especially the um, not not going to school part. Uh, that's probably the funnest thing about it. But uh, uh, it, it's, it's been a great process uh, being able to go out there and train in Phoenix. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to have the success I did as far as numbers and, and whatnot and staying in shape if it weren't for those guys. So I'm very thankful for, for the uh, XO staff um, and then be able to come back out here and kind of get the love and support from my, my coaching staff here and the, and the fans. and. Um, compete today. When you, you talk that, to most teams, do they view you the same way or view like they would use you in the same way, whether it's wide receiver or tight end, or does it kind of depend on what the franchise is? Um, yeah, I think it varies from franchise to franchise um, because, you know, some guys are, or some teams are in desperate need for a, a bigger um, receiver, and, you know, some, some just need a, a, a tight end kind of slot guy. So um, it, it varies from franchise to franchise. You said the biggest question for teams was speed. What feedback did you get after the 40s in Indianapolis? Um, I think a lot of teams were pleased by it, um, for the most part. Um, I think I know I know a lot of teams had me assume I'd run like a 4.7 or 4.8. So um, I think I kind of just cleared that cleared that speed question up a little bit. Have any teams between now and the draft want you to come in personally or? Um, not yet. Um, you know, I think well, I'll pick up a little bit more after today, um, but we'll see. What is the process now for you about where you're going to be or what you're doing? I'll still be hearing names, um, just in case you know team wants to come up here and work me out personally. Um, but you know the biggest thing right now is starting to get in football shape because um, as soon as the draft's over, OTA started. Uh, I want to go in there, um, start to compete for a uh, starting position. What's the book you got? Uh, it's a book my grandpa had given my uh, cousin um, a couple years ago, and he just wanted to give it to me and just kind of help me with life. Who's the next Allen Lazard on this team? Uh, I'd say Hakeem Butler for sure. I mean, he definitely has um, more potential than probably I did. Um, he's definitely had the tangibles. You just got to go out there and um, bring it every single day and, and be the man. How different was the experience to come by a bunch of guys you don't know and you've got to get those points? How much you probably know he's going to get and what you think about that and you're surrounded by fans? Uh, it, it's. It's, you know, it's just a different environment, um, kind of not necessarily a different mindset, but uh, just kind of a different vibe here. Um, a lot more comfortability, you know. I know the turf and um, what to expect and, you know, what what the lighting's like here. And then going at the combine, you know, I didn't really know what to expect, but until I got there as far as, you know, on um, the field and turf and, and the lighting for catching balls and stuff. So did anybody give you any advice that paid off kind of leading into this whole process? Yeah, um, I, th I think, you know, the coaches here, I mean, they've always pushed me every single day, um, especially these past two years. And I think that's just kind of had a ripple effect in, on my mentality of going into this, um, this combine process and be able to go out there and, and compete to my best ability.